Hi everyone, it's Rachel and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to make a kawaii red panda charm using polymer clay. So let's get started. You'll want to start off by taking an orangey brownie coloured clay and we're going to start off by making the head. So place the clay in the palm of your hands and then roll it into a ball. Next we're going to shape the cheeks. So use your fingers to gently pinch each side of the ball to create a little point and then you can also smooth out the clay with your fingers as well. So this is what mine looks like once I was happy with it. Next we're going to be making the ears. So I took some brown polymer clay and a smaller ball of white polymer clay. Starting with the brown, you want to shape this into a diamond by pinching each end to create a point. Then do the exact same with the smaller piece of white clay and then place this on top of the brown clay. Then you can cut the diamond in half with your blade so that you have two even size ears. Now you can position these onto the head and I also blended the joins down using my needle tool so that they were nice and secure. To make the shape of the body I started off with a ball of clay and I rolled it on my work surface to create a kind of cone shape. Then using my blade I just trimmed off the top and then I connected the head and the body together, again blending the joint with my needle tool. Next we are going to move on to our red panda's facial features. So here I've got a ball of white clay which I just flattened down on my work surface. I then carefully picked this clay out with my blade and placed it onto the red panda's face where the mouth is going to go. For the little brown patches I'm using two pieces of brown clay and I'm rolling these into little teardrop shapes and then I'm just placing them on either side of the white clay and flattening them down as well. I added two smaller pieces of white clay beside each of those brown pieces and then I also added two tiny white ovals just above where the eyes are going to go. So now moving on to the kawaii face, I firstly created two indents with my dotting tool where I wanted the eyes to go. I then added in two balls of black clay. For the cheeks I positioned on two pieces of pastel pink coloured clay and then finally for the mouth I created two thin U shapes and placed these together with a little black nose as well. To create our red panda's little back legs I'm rolling two pieces of brown clay into rough teardrop shapes and then I'm just attaching these onto the body. For the front legs, again I'm rolling two pieces of brown clay into teardrop shapes. These ones are slightly larger than the back legs. I then took one of my silicon tools to create a very light indent in each leg just to create a distinction between the foot and the leg. I then carefully placed these onto the front of the charm. Now to make the red panda's stripy tail, I rolled a teardrop of brown clay and that orangey coloured clay. And then here I'm using my blade to trim each one into little sections. I'm then going ahead and taking every second section from each of the colours and I'm joining them all together to create a complete tail again. Once my tail actually looked like a tail, I then rolled it on my work surface and I kept compacting it with my fingers and rolling it so that the joins were all nice and smooth and it looked like one piece of clay. You can then slightly curve the tail and then attach this onto the back of your red panda and then also curl it around the front. 
Finally, I'm going ahead and making the little tuft of fur on top of the red panda's head. So I took two little bits of that orange colored clay and I rolled them into teardrops so that they had a pointed end. I then placed these two pieces together and cut them off so that there was a flat edge and then I could sit it onto the head. Now it's time to add an eye pin if you would like to make it into a charm and then you can go ahead and bake it in your oven according to your package's instructions. After baking, I took some super glue and I used this to secure the eye pin and then I also added a coat of my UV resin as a glaze. So this is what my finished Kawaii Red Panda charm ended up looking like. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also subscribe to my YouTube channel for lots more crafty videos. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys.